Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am actually doing a very exciting video. I've been waiting for these at my local Walgreens. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Water Drop Primer in Rose Scented. I am also pairing it, finishing off my makeup. I'm going to be using this as my setting spray, even though it's a three-in-one primer water by Wet n Wild as well. So I'm gonna be pairing these with my Holy Grail of foundations which is the all may tlc truly lasting color in color 220 neutral for me if my makeup comes off today it will honestly be, be because of this primer now just fyi guys i did do a review which i'll link down below i did review the coconut scented one which is right here the coconut against the actual original natural finish setting spray they the ingredients are similar, but at the same time, they're a little bit different, but it set my makeup the exact same way. So I should have no problems with this Rose Primer Water because it should set exactly like the coconut one did since it is very similar ingredients. Anyways, let's go ahead and stop the rambling and just jump to that video. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my face right now and let's see what it looks like. It's not what I was expecting with a water primer. It looks like a gel. Oh, and I, I love roses. I really do. I could smell them all day. I could wear rose scented stuff all day. So let's go ahead and put this on the face. I'm gonna do it on half of my face. You guys can see all my redness right here. Let's see if it calms it a little bit. Okay guys, did you just see how my skin like started turning more red? When my skin turns really red, it's because it's really absorbing into my skin. You can even see like you have some red pigment right here in my forehead. It just feels like a lotion. It's nice and smooth, which honestly, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I don't know if I want a primer absorbing into my skin because I thought a primer was actually just supposed to be like sit on top of my skin to kind of make my skin like canvas like. Like I'm painting a, a picture, a beautiful picture. Okay guys, so this is what my foundation looks like after I've applied it. I haven't put any powder or anything on my skin. Now I'm looking at my skin and it actually looks really good. Now does it fill in the pores? No, it doesn't, it, it kinda fills in the pores. Not extreme filled in. Um, but then again, I was reading the back of the bottle and it does say blur the appearance of pores. So I'm gonna say that it actually kind of blurs the appearance because they do look more smooth. Now, when I was telling you that my skin turns really red when, when moisture is absorbed into my skin, then I turn this, then I read this and it says hydrates and locks down moisture. So that's kind of great. It's almost telling you like you don't need a moisturizer, even though I had a moisturizer on. And it does say it's a cream to water solution. So it's kind of like I opened it up without even reading it. And I, I kind of already knew that once I applied it. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and set this and then I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna come back and let you guys know how it looks once I've sprayed it. Okay guys, so my makeup is done. I'm gonna go ahead and set it with this rose powder. It does say shake well, so we do wanna shake it up. And we do wanna prime it, obviously, before we start. I wanna just tell you guys, before I spray this, just look at how beautiful this sprayer is. Do you see that? Can you actually see that on camera? It is like the perfect pump. I wish a lot of companies would take note. Oh, and FYI, that smells really good. It smells like, like a bouquet of roses. Okay, so let's just go ahead and spray it and see what we think. And I do spray my face quite a bit, just to let you know. I think this smells wonderful. Now, I do understand a lot of people wouldn't be into this type of fragrance, but they do have cucumber and coconut fragrance as well. It is dry. Now, do you see how my skin looks very different? It's kind of like all that powder just melted into my skin and it actually looks like skin now. It doesn't look like so heavy, heavy of makeup on my face where I look fake. Anyways, I think this looks great, but I'm gonna check in with you guys in a bit um, throughout the day, obviously, and tell you, did my makeup break up? Is this a fantastic product or not? I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so you can see right here, especially in my nose area, how how oily I am, how shiny right here, 
a little bit on my forehead. So I'm gonna get a Scott One Ply toilet paper. I'm gonna push this right back down and see if it will re-adhere to my skin as this foundation always does. Quite a bit of oil that came off my skin. Wow guys, so when I looked close up, obviously this shine right here is the highlighter that you're seeing, but you saw all the other oil on the tip of my nose. But wow, everything pushed right back down. It looks great. So I'll check in again in a few more hours. Guys, I'm just done with my workout. This is the best area with the best lighting that I could find at the gym. I'm in like the little locker room area. I'm gonna say that I didn't touch my face at all during the workout. I just did a full hour of Zumba class and my foundation looks amazing. So I'm gonna say this primer and setting spray are actually fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the little subscribe button and a tiny little bell next to it for notifications of new videos. I'm Kristen Marie, I'm out, bye.